Hi everybody, Russell here, filming from my barracks, because I'm a Marine, and I'm also gay. Hey everybody, Russell here, your favorite gay Marine, and uh, I was filming another blog for Gay Friends, the group on Facebook that I associate with, and since I already had my camera out in front of me, and <clears throat> I was looking online, and uh, I was on YouTube, and I was looking up random videos like I always do, especially on a snowed in day like today, it's really packed out there today, but um... You know, I was looking up online and I found these videos called What Would You Do? And basically it's the this uh, camera crew and they hire actors to act out a situation in a public place and they see how the the uh, just everyday people react to the situation. And one of the scenarios I watched, they had this, uh, uh, this gay kid on here and they had three guys uh, bully him and call him, you know, uh, just derogatory names and kind of push him around a little bit, steal his bag, just you know, just discriminating stuff that kind of happens to a lot of um, just gay teens. And watching the other people's reactions, you know, as they're passing by, seeing the situation unfold, it was actually kind of sad. They did it through the course of like an entire day and just acted out the same scenario. With each new person that came, you know, only about maybe a dozen people uh, kind of said anything to the bullies or stopped it from happening or anything like that and it was really sad to see you know um, we have come a long way as far as gay rights as far as you know uh, people kind of accepting accepting homosexuality and all this and it's really great progress it really is I will never say anything bad about where we come from to where we are now you know we're constantly making progress and it's great you know it's really heartwarming but in an everyday situation, you know, where it's up to the individual to stand up for something that doesn't directly apply to them, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of sad, really. And you know, and I've spoke about this before, you know, in, in numerous videos, and it's something I wholeheartedly believe. And that is, when you come out, it makes those around you more acceptant towards gay people. And I say this because, you know, when people think of homosexuality, they always think of the stereotypical gays, or they just don't think of it at all, you know? It doesn't directly apply to them, they don't know anybody in that situation, or that could be in that situation, and it's really easy to kind of shield yourself from those events if you can't really personally attach yourself to it. And that's one of the things when people ask me, you know, well, why is it so important to come out? Why do you feel like you have to, you know, say things uh, publicly? You know, why are you constantly trying to defend yourself? And why are you constantly trying to, you know, tell others to come out, be who you are, you know, accept it? You know, people, a lot of people think that, you know, all gays are fine as long as they are, they're not in public, as long as, you know, if people want to be closeted, that's fine, they can, you know, it's up to them. It's, it's just all that kind of stuff. People ask me that all the time and kind of want to talk about it. And, you know... I believe that if everybody wants to be in the closet, if anybody wants to be, you know, kind of uh, closeted or don't really want to talk about it, that's fine. You know, that's their choice. Uh, you know, I always say come out when you're ready. You know, it's that's a big thing. Always come out when you are ready. Not when somebody pressures you into doing it. Not when, you know, it's just always when you think it's the right time. However, I also believe that it's very important to come out, especially if... You know, people say, oh, well, there's no other gays in my family. I don't know any other gays. My parents don't know any other gays. You know, there's not really a lot of gays in my community. I don't really, you know, have any, anybody to kind of, uh, who understands what I'm going through and stuff like that. And, you know, that's true in a lot of cases. But like I said, when you come out to your parents, when you come out to your friends, you know, your siblings, your aunts, your uncles, all these people, you are directly affecting all of their lives, okay? And by you coming out, you are giving them someone to, to think about when they think of homosexuality. You are giving them, you know, a reason to be attached to the, this gay kid that is being bullied by these, these kids, you know? And I think that's really important, you know? Uh, my family, my parents, my aunts, my uncles, no one really is gay. I'm the first person in my family to kind of be out to talk about stuff like this you know they know I have a channel they know they know where I stand on a lot of like gay rights and all this stuff and I talk to them a lot about it 
just because I think it's important for them to think about it. I think it's important for them to kind of try to figure out where they are, where they stand. And, you know, just something as simple as my friends knowing a gay. You know, someone they talk to all the time, someone they hang out with, that they we rip on each other, you know, they're my good friends, and now they know someone who's gay. A lot of my friends have never never had a friend who's gay before. You know, something my friend said to me when I came out to him, you know, after about a week, after he found out I was gay, he's like, you know, Russ, when I, before when I thought about, you know, gays, I was like, that's cool, you know, there's gays in the world, that's their thing, whatever. But now, why shouldn't you be able to get married? You know, I, I know you, you know, if, if Russ wants to marry a guy, so be it, I will be at his wedding. And I think that's a perfect example of when you come out, when you directly affect someone's life, their, their ideas, <clears throat> sorry, their ideas, you know, the way of thinking, they have someone to think about. Like my friends, for instance, you know, he never thought about gays getting married, you know, he didn't really care about it because it didn't directly affect him. He didn't know any gays, he didn't ever talk about gays, he didn't even think about gays. And now that he knows a gay, and he, you know, he thinks, well, why shouldn't he get married? You know, he's a good friend of mine. I want to see him happy. I want to see him have the same rights as everyone else. And this is in the same situation. I truly believe that the more you come out to someone, the more people who know you're gay and who can directly tie homosexuality with you, it helps them out in the long run. It's one thing to, you know, say, I want equal rights. It's, it's one thing to be like, everyone should treat it equal. I'm gay. That's the thing. It is up to you, it really is, to teach these people who don't know gays, who don't know what it's like to be homosexual, what it's like to be discriminated against, it's up to you to teach them. And, you know, in the cases, in this case study that, uh, in What Would You Do, anybody who acted out, really, anybody who stood up for this, this uh, gay child who was getting bullied, one of the things they all said was, you know, they asked him at the end, why did you feel like you had to act out when all these people didn't say anything, that just walked by and continued on their day and didn't give it a second thought? Why did you stop? And nine times out of ten they said, well, I have a gay friend. Or, you know, oh, my sister's gay. My, my this or that's gay. And that's because when they saw that child, when they saw that teenager getting bullied, they didn't think of really him getting bullied. They thought of what was it? What if it was my friend? What if it was my sister? What if it was my child that was getting bullied right now? I sure as hell would want someone to stand up for him, to take him and tell him that it's okay, that he is who he is, and that these bullies are just dicks. I'm sorry this turned into a long video. I really didn't mean to. It was just supposed to be a really quick video, but I truly believe this, and you know, I really hope that <clears throat> by you guys coming out, you know, you guys can teach these people who normally kind of just don't think about what it's like to be gay, what it's like to be discriminated against, you know, you guys can teach them. You guys can give them a person to think about when they see this kid getting bullied. All right, well, that was it for this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll see you guys later. Uh, yeah, bye. <laughs>